在 h e r s v i l l e 华人高密度聚集区修建佛教禅修中心。这份提案在社区内引起了沸沸扬扬的争论。当地居民自发成立行动委员会，抵制行动愈演愈烈。当今日悉尼记者来到 h e r s v i l l e r i g h t Street， 发现整条街都布满了反对标语。在申请佛堂修建 DA 的十四号。一名身穿灰袍的尼姑正在后院打扫，看到记者走近，他便匆匆地走回屋中。然而，当记者敲响房门，屋内却无人应答。住在十四号隔壁的 Louis 一家已经在这里生活了三十七年。他见到记者时，情绪十分激动。面对镜头，讲到他年迈的母亲，以及与十四号邻居不愉快的经历时。他多次哽咽了。My name is Louis Dimovsky. I'm a resident of 16 Wright Street, Hurstville.、Um, we built this house with my late father. And my mother. Have lived here all this time with all surrounding Chinese and other nations, a harmonious and very peaceful, happy life. Since the property next door was bought, we have had nothing but problems with these people. Trying to operate something that we're not supposed to.、Um, we've seen many, many, many visitors come and go. Despite so many, so many complaints to the council, the council wasn't able to catch these people in the act visiting at late hours of the night. I myself have seen the abbot with up to seven or eight people. They're cooking. With the lights off, so we think the smells coming everywhere. And now there is a new proposal. My 83-year-old mother, upon introduction from the、uh, abbot Pan Rushi in the early days, was greeted, and his question was how long she's been here, and、uh, she didn't、uh, sort of.、Uh, Sense that immediately what he was trying to say when she said a long time, he waved with his hand and said,、um, "Maybe it's time you move." Louis 带着记者来到后院，透过围墙可以看到十四号左右两侧紧挨着民居，后方更是紧靠着 h e r s v i l l e 最大的学校 h e r s v i l l e Public School。上到路易斯家二楼，不远处可以看到一个幼儿园，小朋友与老师正在园内互动，而幼儿园紧密连接的也是成片的居民楼。Have a look how many residential places here, and he wants to come in the middle and kill us all. 路易斯八十三岁高龄的母亲拉开房门，示意有话要对记者说。My thirty-seven years in this house, number sixteen Rice Street, always I have. Happy, happy, happy life until number fourteen people coming here. Every day trouble. Every day too many visitor, visitor, visitor come. Non-stop smell terrible. My house always close. Not to come bad smell. Not to listen noisy people. My family live prisoner life. Every morning, every night, I complain. The people from number fourteen start to laughing. To laughing for me, I'm very upset. I'm nervous, and I go to see the doctor to give me medication for stress. Please, I need help. 家住十二号的 Linda。也讲述了他反对在居民区修建佛教禅修中心的理由
，受到这个这个训以后，大家都没法了，大家都就好像就怎么办啊？又来了，又来了，就是把居民搞成这个样，神经都精神上都崩溃了，这样下去。因为我们搞了几年了，你不能这样搞的，因为你既然是做法，做好事，对吧？你是为了大家做好事，嗯、但是我们这名居民不需要，不需要你就不应该干。因为这条路太小了，那个太闹了，然后后面是学校，旁边又是托儿所，那个很多陌生人进进出出，对我们小孩也不安全，对我们住宅的民，那其实雷子屯也是不安全的。你这不是为大家做好事，你这是破坏那个社区的那个那个安定团结，破坏那个社区的和谐，所以我们是坚决反对的。但是我们反对不是反对他那个他那个佛教。我们反对就是你在这个居民区，把我们居民的生活搞烂。I mean, I don't know、uh, what's going to happen. I just fear for all of us because this street will be totally finished if that's the case that happens. I just feel sorry for all of us. I feel sorry for my 83-year-old mum that's worked all her life with my dad that's now deceased, and myself. We've worked for. I've raised two children in this family. I'm a single dad now, and I'm trying to look after mum as well as run a mobile mechanical business.、Um, it's very hard and it's very unfair if this project goes ahead. That's all I'm going to say. Anybody that can help us here in any way possible, your help is very, very valued and much appreciated. Thank you. 就此。今日悉尼记者电话采访了 Hertzville 前副市长、现任乔治河地方议会议员刘纳新。这个 case 呢，应该是在几年前，他曾经入过 DA， 啊、呃，这个申请人，呃，但是当时是也是因为很多的技术的条件，呃，不过关，呃，康寿就已经拒绝了他的这个申请。呃，我自己认为选举的方面可能要非常非常的慎重。呃，而且大的环境下来说呢，现在乔治河市政府，呃，也处在一个关于这个公共礼拜场所建设规定和指指南草案这个社区咨询的意见和建议的这个期间，各种各样的意见都可以。本来是在九月二十九号也是截止，但是考虑到对这个。草案的社区的咨询是一个非常广泛，也是个意义非常深远的这么一个呃咨询期。从九月二十九号，就是明天推迟了一个星期，到十月六日来截止。所以，不论是对这个呃刚才说十四号 r i g h t Street 呃建佛堂的个案，还是对呃指南草案社区咨询，我都希望市民在特定的这个时间。期间内，嗯，积极的表达他们的愿望。乔治河地方议会议员吴金莹也表达了自己对此事的看法。最近确实有很多的居民都在关注这个关于十四号 Rice Street 这个嗯宗教场所的 DA 申请。那呃，有一点呢，我想先说一下，我们市政府的议员呢是没有对 DA 呢，是任何对任何 DA 没有投票权的。我们是 respect 各式各种宗教，尊重各种宗教信仰，但是前提是，呃啊、呃，这种对宗教场所的修建是。呃，前提是不应该影响我们的居民的民生环境。在单纯的 pure resident area， 就是单纯的居民住宅区，建啊、呃、这个宗教场所，我个人认为是并不是很合适的。新州议员柯民斯华裔办公室顾问周健告诉记者。议员办公室近期收到很多当地居民的邮件和电话，对此 DA 项目表达了自己的担忧和反对。他说，柯明斯议员已致函乔治河地方议会新当选的市长和总经理，希望当局更多听取当地居民的意见，开展细致的专业调查，论证该项目的可行性，以及深入考虑该项目对居民日常生活和周边密布的学校、幼儿园、公园等可能造成的各类潜在影响。受到众多当地居民反对的 DA 项目究竟结果如何？今日悉尼还将继续关注此事的进展。